Hi, this is Jacob, this is Seth, and this is Austin. We are students at Amy View Community School, and today we're going to present to you our climate innovation project. Fish Paradise! Climate change has already been causing a lot of problems for the Southwest. New Mexico is practically in the middle of the Southwest, so they've been getting a lot of two by fours to the back of their head these past years. New Mexican scientists have been studying the river temperatures and have seen an increase in the temperatures. We do see a we do see an influence. It's especially apparent kind of in these lower elevations, so um, things kind of down in valleys and stuff like that. We tend to see increased water temperatures that influence, especially trout. That's a, a really big issue, kind of where we're at. Where healthy rivers is already a big part of our of a healthy ecosystem, but. Uh, fishing also is a good boost for our economy. So if you're someone like me that just loves fish, then seeing these really neat, cool fish um, die and, and get get go extinct because of these changes is kind of a sad event and it, it hurts you or it influences you more emotionally than it does um, economically or physically. But there's also um, a lot of kind of economic benefit to fish. For example, in neighboring Colorado, that sport fishing had an $800 million plus economic impact while supporting nearly 11,000 jobs. We don't protect our fish habitats in New Mexico. We could lose the enjoyment to our rivers and lakes. We could lose on, on big money to our economy and it would be devastating to our environment. This might seem frightening, and it is. It's overwhelming to think about climate change, habitat loss, and animal extinction. We had an idea where we could simply just plant native trees over the river. The trees will use the hot sun to grow, and they would provide shade for the fish to thrive. The fish would be a lot cooler to lay their eggs. More fish, a healthy economy. One way to solve this climate change problem is to reorient the river in a more wavy way, like an estuary. It isn't over just yet. This idea could help fish find a better home and ecosystem. When we had an interview with an expert, he said our idea was great and could definitely work. This idea could be achieved on a small scale, but would save much work on a larger scale. Public and private groups have spent millions of dollars restoring Gila trout habitats in western New Mexico. The amount of money and manpower needed is quite a lot, but is definitely feasible. To some of our project, this could be a good idea to help the fish be in their natural habitat and survive during climate change. Often what we'll do in situations where uh, a stream corridor has been um, overgrazed or something like that is you go in and you fence it and then you plant a bunch of willows and stuff and you let those willows grow and get big and then they shade that stream and they keep all that solar radiation off of the stream which allows for cooler water temperatures and less evaporation. Um, so that's, yeah, that's a really great idea. And, and that's often what we use um, in kind of these restoration. So it sounds, I mean, it sounds kind of scary and it, it, it shouldn't be because the nice thing is, is that people like New Mexico Game and Fish and people like me are working to restore those uh, fish populations and we're, you know, relatively successful. So it, it can be done. Um, it just, it takes some willingness and some smart folks like you to come up with good options to try and get recover these fish populations.